just nice to get one in January, really. Uh, just a three hook flapper uh, on the synetic rod. We don't need to cast far here, um, just enough to get out there onto the sandbank. I say we don't need to cast, it's always an option, isn't it? Casting a bit further. Mixture of baits in, uh, frozen lug with the newspaper attached. I've also got some of these live juicy ones as well. I don't really want to waste, <laughs> waste these fresh ones on the whiting so we're going to mix it up a little bit I think. Well we've certainly had enough whiting on the channel recently but I promise you there'll be something different today. So we'll put some worm on the three hook flappers maybe tip that with a bit of squid today and then a little bit of frozen on there as well again tip with a bit of squid. The dab don't like the fresh ones as much, I don't think. They just want a bit more sticky, stinky lug uh, if we're going to catch those. Still a bit early in the year, maybe, for the dab. And then we're just going to put a live bait rig uh, on the other setup. This is the Slosh SL20SH on the Sandstorm. And on that one, we've got our minimalist's bass rig on there. Uh, you can learn how to tie it actually in a separate video up the top. Just click on that if you want to see that later. But this is a 6.0 hook. For a budget rod, this sandstorm's pretty good actually. I mean, this cost me 50, well, about 80 quid, I suppose it was, second hand. Good as new. It's got a reasonably good cast, 13 foot rod. I say 13 meters sometimes, I don't know why I say that. Um, good action, take a pendulum cast, cast six, seven ounces if you want it to. Now, keeping that rod tip really high, you probably sussed why. <laughs> it's basically, if you look at the sea there, I don't want the line to be caught up in all of that. Now, if you look closely, you might be able to see there's a gully there. Now, if I cast too close, uh, that backwash, particularly on an ebb tide, is going to bury the line but but it's a really good spot here as it holds up the food uh, you can see it's obviously a little bit of a shallow area and hopefully that's where the bass will sit and then further out where I've indicated there there's also a little sandbank as well uh, another option for a slightly further cast but not too far Sonic ABX braid onto a tapered leader of 60 pound so just changing things slightly we're going to add a cascade uh, rig instead of the three hook flapper And you can see here what happens. This is a three hook flapper. You can see, without them clipped on, that lug, you always lose a bit of tail there. So, the solution, because the baits are quite delicate, just helps having them on that cascade. Cleaner cast, more of the worm stays on as well. Just a small little detail. So, we're not casting too far. Well, you're going to see something different now. Um, we're so used to getting whiting bites. Look at the rod on the right. Now that is not a whiting. You see the difference? A bit hard from this angle. And the rod on the left, that's just the slack line in the surf. On the right hand side, it's bending and not rattling. Which to me meant something other than a whiting. I should have really called it at the time. <laughs> Letting that bite develop. Oh, there's something heavier on the line.
Lovely. Well, <laughs> that's nice to see. Nice little January bass. Only small. We'll put him back, definitely. And then, who cares what's on the other side? <laughs> Genuinely surprised to catch that. It's only a tiddler. I'm going to put him back, obviously. <laughs> That's under the 42 centimetres. First bass of 2021. Sometimes I'm too worried about what the camera's picking up. I forget about the fishing. Still, we got a bass, <laughs> a January bass. I've only had a bass once before in January. I'm usually in hibernation, but the air temperature's up a bit. I wonder if that makes a difference. Six degrees today. And always with fishing, just when you think you've nailed it, I think you're the big man catching a small bass. <laughs> a decent fish, look at this basically that's a slack line bite and I've already felt a lot of weight on the line reeling in all the slack and then ping ah! and there's no one to blame there except for myself I think that's the leader knot I need to pay attention to my own videos really <laughs> not sure what's going on there that's very bad certainly my my error and that would have been a half decent fish lost Whiting. It's quite good because every time a whiting comes in now, I'm thinking it might be a bass. We caught a bass in January. <laughs> Just nice to get one in January, really sick to death of these whiting and then for a bass to come along brilliant worth the yellow fingers worth the effort it's actually turned out to be quite a nice day so i hope if you haven't subscribed it'd be great if you could because uh, coming up we're going to be looking at catching some gone back ray again there'll be place out here hopefully a spring run of place um, and all the time i can social distance on this big beach here um, I'll keep bringing the videos, um, I can walk to the beach from where I live so it's really handy. Uh, I think bass must be now a year round species on the south coast. I know they go off to spawn obviously this time of year and they're heading to the southwest, the big ones. Um, but these smaller bass I think are still around on our coast. <laughs> 